going on guys? This is Nick from Budget Build Garage and today I'm going to show you how to calculate your rear diff ratio without pulling anything apart. Now it's important to know that we're doing this on an open differential. I did another video on the Pontiac which has a limited slip. It's a much different process. It's kind of the same but it's different. Um, first thing you need to do obviously put the car in neutral, chalk the front tires, lift the back end and support it from the rear end with some jacks. Be safe you guys. Um, after that, it's pretty easy. You're gonna make, you're gonna need to make sure you chalk the other tire. The other rear tire can't spin at all. If it spins, it's gonna throw off your calculations. So I put a chalk on that side. I already tested it. This guy spins without spinning the other one. And we're gonna take some tape, and we are gonna mark the fender. Doesn't need to be super precise. You can find somewhat of a clean spot on this tire. And mark that guy. A um, couple of important things to know. This rear end is awful, and I want a Ford 9 inch for it, and it's only a Ford 8 inch. And we were thinking about building that, but we're kind of like over that idea. We want to do a full 9 inch. So we're going to figure out what gears this has, and then kind of decide what gears we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a mark on the drive shaft so I can count how many times that drive shaft spins in relation to how many times this tire spins. Unlike in the Pontiac, instead of spinning this tire around one time, we're going to spin it around 10 times. And in that 10 times, I'll count how often that drive shaft spins. Um, I'll make a mark on that, have Taylor spin this, and then we'll get back to you. All right, tell me when. All right, you have to do this kind of slow and try and count to 10 in your brain. Okay. All right, go ahead. In your brain. Nick's not confident I can count to 10 in my head. I'm not confident I can count <laughs> while you're counting. Okay. Well, don't count out loud either. I'm not going <laughs> to. Is this slow enough? You can go faster than that. Gotta do some maths before I do this on camera. Okay. So I counted how many times the drive shaft rotated when he spun the wheel ten times. I got roughly thirteen point eight. Okay, so thirteen point eight. You need to multiply that by two since you have two tires and we only spun once. So multiply that by two and what's that like two twenty seven point four. <laughs> What? 27.6. I was so close. 27.6. <laughs> okay, so now that you've done that, what we're going to do is take this decimal point and just move it one to the left. Essentially, you know, dividing it by 10. See what I'm saying? Divided it by 10. Does that make sense to everybody? I took that class. You took that class? What was that, fourth grade? <laughs> you can either just move the decimal point or you divide it by 10. So 2.76. Now, 2.76 is very close because, again, this point eight is somewhat estimated, but that is not a Ford gear ratio. I know for sure it would be a 273. And pretty positive, 273. So what we actually have is 273. If you're curious, you could just Google like Ford gear ratios or Chevy gear ratios or whatever you're doing. It'll give you the closest one that you are that's yours because they only make like 10 or 12 of them, you know what I mean? So whichever one you're closest to, that's your gear ratio, 2.73 in this rear end. So that's an awesome highway gear. We need to jump that up to at least, I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. We take the 3.25 out of the Pontiac, which I showed you in the last video, and stuff it in the 9-inch in this. That way we can still get on the highway, and we put something much better in the Pontiac. Like a 373 or something. Like a 411. But that's something for us to argue about, and hopefully this helped you. If you're ever in a junkyard looking for one, or you're on Craigslist, again, this will help you tremendously. If somebody's like, dude, this thing's an awesome 411 posse, now you know how to figure it out. Well, actually, that would be the other video. If they say it's a 411 without Posse, now you know how to figure it out. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you on the next video.